Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on bitwise operators in C language. Bitwise operators are mainly used for performing bit level operations between the corresponding bits. So the following are the bit level operations in C language. First one is bitwise and, second one is bitwise or, third one is bitwise complement and fourth one is bitwise XOR, fifth one is bitwise left shift, sixth one is bitwise right shift. So these are the six operations can be performed on the bits, corresponding bits in C language. So bitwise operators, bitwise operators are mainly used for performing bit level operations bit level operations on the corresponding bits corresponding bits bits of operands Second one, the following are the the following are the bitwise operators. Bitwise operators in C language. First one is bitwise and in brackets bitwise and second one is bitwise or third one is bitwise XOR. Symbol. Fourth one is bitwise complement. Fifth one is bitwise left shift. Sixth one is bitwise right shift so these are the six bitwise operators in c language so first one is bitwise and operator So bitwise and operator is denoted by so ampersand symbol. So whenever we are performing the bitwise operation between the corresponding two bits, if the output is one, if both the bits of the operands is equal to if one of the operand is 1, so then the output of the bitwise AND operator is 0. Both the bits of the two operands are 0, so then the output of the bitwise, operate, bitwise AND operator is also 0. 
So suppose the output of the the output of the bitwise and operator and operator is one then the two corresponding bits of operands is one if one of the operand bit is one one of the operand bit is one then the output of bitwise and keys bitwise and keys zero if two bits of two corresponding bits of if two corresponding If the corresponding bits of two operands, two operands is zero, then the output of output of bitwise and int. Bitwise and is zero. Okay. So, for example, twelve bitwise and operator five. Okay. Now these two numbers are converted into binary form. So. Twelve is one one zero zero, and five is zero one zero one. Okay. Now we have to perform the bitwise and operator. So here one of the two operands is zero. So then bitwise and operator is zero. If two operand corresponding bits of two operands, so here this bit, this corresponding bit of two operands is zero, then bitwise and operator result is also zero. If two corresponding bits of two operands is one, then the bit result of bitwise and operator is one. So one of the one of the two bits of the two operands is zero. So then the result of bitwise and operator is also zero. So this is the result of bitwise and operator performed on twelve and five. So here zero bitwise and operator one is equal to zero. One bitwise operator one is equal to one. One bitwise and operator zero is equal to zero. Zero bitwise and operator is equal to zero. So these are the rules we have to follow whenever we are performing the bitwise and operation on two operands. So zero bitwise and operator one is equal to zero. One bitwise and operator one is equal to one. One bitwise operator zero is equal to zero. Zero bitwise and operator is equal to zero. 
in the bitwise or operator if the corresponding bits of two operands is 1 then the result of bitwise operator is 1 if one of the if the corresponding bits of two operands if one of the operand bit value is 1 then the result of the bitwise or operator is also 1 so this rule is followed by performing bitwise or operation on two operands if the corresponding the corresponding bits of bits of two operands two operands is one then the result of bitwise or or is one if if one of the corresponding bits of two operands if one of the corresponding bits one of the corresponding bits of two operands friends is 1 so then the result of bitwise r is 1 so example 12 bitwise r operator 5 okay so 12 can be written as 1, 1, 0, 0. 5 can be written as 0, 1, 0, 1. So now we have to perform the bitwise or operation between two operands. So here one of the, the if the corresponding bits, if the one of the corresponding bits of two operands is 1, then the result of bitwise or operator is 1. Here 0 and 1. So, one of the two corresponding bits is 1. The result of bitwise or operation is 1. If the two corresponding bits are 0, the result of bitwise or operator is 0. If the two corresponding bits of two operands is 1, so then the result of bitwise or operator is 1. If one of the corresponding bits of two operands is 1, the result of uh, bitwise or operator is 1. So, after performing bitwise or operator, so two operands 12 and 5, so the result is 1, 1, 0, 1. So, this is the description about the bitwise or operator. So, third one is bitwise xr bitwise xr in the bitwise xr if the corresponding bits of two operands are opposite so then the result of bitwise xr operation is 1 otherwise its result is 0 if the corresponding if the corresponding bits of two operands two operands are opposite or are different different so then the result of bitwise xr 
is x is one. Otherwise, the result of bitwise x r is zero. Is zero. So now consider the example twelve x r five. So twelve can be written as one one zero zero. Five can be written as zero one zero one. So if the corresponding bits of two operands are opposite, here zero one both are opposite. So the result of bitwise XOR operation is one. If both are, if the corresponding bits of two operands are zero, so the result is zero. Both are same, the result is zero. Both are different, the result is one. So this is the result of bitwise XOR operation performed on both operands twelve and five. Okay. Next, so next operator is. bitwise complement it is a unary operator so this operation can be performed on a single operand so the bits in the operand is 1 the bitwise complement of this bit is 0 if the if the bit of the operand is 1 the bitwise complement of this bit is zero so one can be converted into zero zero can be converted into one okay so bitwise complement bitwise complement operator complements the complements the bit of the operand if it is one it can be converted into zero converted into Zero. If it is zero, it can be converted into converted into one. So it is a unary operator. It is a unary operator. it can be performed on it can be performed on on a single operand on a single operand so it can be denoted by it can be denoted by complement symbol so example so bitwise complement of 12 so that is bitwise complement of 1100 so it can be converted complement of 1 is 0 complement of 1 is 0 complement of 0 1 complement of 0 is so after performing complement operation on the operand 12 the result is 0011 so this is 3 so this is the bitwise complement operation next fourth one fifth one is so bitwise left shift bitwise left shift so it 
can be denoted as bitwise reduction. So this operation is used for shifting all the bits of the operand by the specified number of bits. Okay. So this operator is used to shift all the bits of the operand all the bits of the operand by the specified number of bits by the specified number of bits so here example here operand left shift left shift n value n is nothing but how many number of bits to be shifted left so example 12 left shift left shift 2 that means the number 12 can be converted into binary form after converting the number after converting the given operand into binary form all the bits in the operand to be shifted left by two bits so for example so 12 can be converted into binary form 1 1 0 left shift left shift 2 2 is nothing but so 2 times we are uh, shifting all the bits of the operand towards left so here by shifting one bit this position can be goes to this position this position one goes to this position this bit can goes to this position this bit can goes to this position after that 1 1 0 0 and this is vacant place by shifting only after shifting one bit after shifting one bit next after shifting two bits this bit goes to this position 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 again so 1 1 0 0 so two positions are vacant after shifting second bit after shifting second bit so the vacant places are filled with zero the vacant places are filled with zero filled with zeros so then then so one one zero 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 okay so what is the resultant number this is two power zero this is two power one this is two power two this is two power three this is two power four this is two power five so that is equal to one into two power five plus 1 into 2 power 4 so that is equal to 32 plus 16 that is 48 result is 48 ok so the formula is formula is operand into 2 power n 
so that is equal to 12 into 2 power how many number of bits to be shifted left that is 2 bits so that is equal to 12 into 4 that is equal to 48 so this is the bitwise shift left operator so then we go for bitwise right shift operator the bitwise right shift operator shifts all the bits of the operand towards right by the specified number of bits so for that purpose we have to use bitwise right shift operator so this operator is used to shift all the bits of the operand bits of the operand towards right by the specified number of bits by the specified number of bits so this is also towards left towards left okay so syntax is operand right shift right shift operator n so example here n is the number of bits to be shifted right so where n is the number of bits to be shifted right to be shifted right see this is also where n is the number of bits to be shifted left so 12 right shift right shift 2 so that is nothing but the number of the all the bits of the operand to be shifted right by 2 bits so for example 12 can be represented in binary form 1 1 0 0 so right shift operator by 2 bits so then this 0 can be placed to this place this 0 can be placed to this place this 1 can be placed to this place this one can be placed in this place. So this is 0, this is 0, this is 1, and this is 1. So this is vacant place. After shifting sorry, this is the vacant place. Okay, after shifting one bit, after shifting two bit, vacant place, vacant place, this goes to this place, this goes to this place, this goes to this place. This is the vacant place and this is one, this is one. Okay, so after shifting two bits, after shifting two bits sorry after shifting second bit sorry after shifting two bits here also after shifting two bits after shifting two bits so then what is the resultant so here the vacant place is replaced with the zeros. The vacant place is filled with the zeros. 
railway zeros. So then zero zero one one. Okay. So that is equal to one into two power one plus one into two power zero. So that is two plus one. That is equal to three. Here the formula is. So operand divided by two power n. So that is equal to twelve by two power n is equal to two. Twelve by four that is equal to three. So this is the bit by byte shift operator. Now we go for example problem. 